that's a lot heavier than it looks. <laughs> Right. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Yes. yes. To, to everybody who watched yesterday's video, the saga continues. 20 dozen ears might have been a little too much. Yeah. It was 19 dozen. Yeah, because we And I put eight. five dozen in the freezer. So it was only 15 dozen that we can. So how many pints are, uh, what are those? Pints. These yeah. are pints. I got 40, uh, just corn. And then I got... 16 cream corn. That's a lot. It is a lot. So you've been yeah, the last of it. While we've been home today, we've we've had things going on today, and so yeah, canning kind of had to stop. Took a, well, took a I turned seat. the canner off at 10:30 last night, and I was like, I am not canning the rest of this. <laughs> this is going in the fridge. I'll pick it up tomorrow. So that is the last batch currently that is finishing. The last batch. Like yes. it's depressuring. It's done, and it's it's four in the afternoon. So. Yeah. Yeah. So done with the corn. Good job. All right, so I am actually like, I'm yeah, going outside. Leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. I'm gonna go play in the woods. Bye. I got, I got stuff to do. Do it. All right, we've actually had a run of really good weather. It's only like low 80s today. It hasn't gotten very hot. So I'm going to continue doing what I was doing last week. More wood chipping. I'm gonna grab the lawnmower, grab whatever tools I need, head down there to the woods, uh, and I'll show you what I got going on. What we got going on in here, this is where the pigs have ran. You know, as you can tell, it's pretty used up. You can also tell where I had the fence because that's where the green stuff stops. There's a lot of trees in here, like this little guy and that guy. These will never really do well. Like this one, this was coppiced at some point or it broke. Yeah, that's a uh, sweet gum. I don't really want any sweet gums. They don't. They don't bring anything to the table. I'm looking for animal food, that kind of stuff. So what I am after is I'm just cleaning up the junk trees, like these right here. Those don't need to be there. Little scraggly trees like this is a water oak. It is below the canopy. It will never make it above the canopy unless I were to open up the canopy around it. Basically what I'm doing in here is I want it easier for me to be able to get in here and move around. And then there's a lot of little sucker trees and sprouts and stuff like that that we just need them gone. And now that I have something to do with them, I can, I can handle them. I'm gonna get in here like this. I had the pigs in here. This is the last paddock. The fence is even still up. I haven't taken it down. Everything in here that is pretty much under, oh, I don't know, three, four inches, I'm gonna take it out. What we've done in here, we've already opened this up a lot. It's just time consuming. Uh, cutting stuff down, dragging it out, chipping it, all of that. If I'm doing it by myself, it takes a little bit. If I have help, like the other day, I think it was Saturday, all four of the boys came down here and we went to town just chipping and chopping and dropping. We had a fun time. One more thing, while we're over here, people have asked about the pigs. Curious pigs, you, you little ones are super curious. They're starting to eat more and more food, and so they're starting to learn that I am the snack man. Hi pigs. And no, she has not had her babies yet. So come to find out, I have major missed when I thought she got bred. They were on the same cycle. I thought they got bred at the same time and it was like, no, so then it means it's the next cycle, which is three weeks later. No, it's actually after that. So I was off on my count, but by the size of the poor girl, she's probably getting pretty close. At this point, it's like, okay, well, it wasn't three weeks, so that means another three weeks. She's actually bigger than her sister was, so there's a good chance she might have more than six babies in there, which that would be pretty cool. All right, enough about the pigs. Oh, and the babies are doing great. They're uh, growing quite quickly. Enough talk, let's get working.
All right, Meg just texted and said that dinner is ready. So part of why I'm opening this up is I can plant trees that I want in here, uh, like more mulberry. Uh, basically anything that produces a nut or a fruit is what I want. This is going to be basically our animals food forest. All right, it's dinner time. We're gonna head up to the house. So what you got? All right, we got mac and cheese. Ooh. It's something we haven't had in ages. And Jalapeno peppers. They look like they exploded. I almost burned them. Oh. I was like dealing with the baby and I almost burned them. And All right. Then and then a chicken, chicken breast. No, there's two. Oh. Cut, cut them up. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I'm going to get cleaned up and then let's eat. All right. Oh, those poppers look good. All right. As you might notice, the jalapeno poppers are gone. Huh. Dinner was very good, thank you. You're welcome. I was out there starting to get all hungry. I was like, uh-oh, I better eat soon. I'm gonna get grouchy. I could see it on your face when you walked in. <laughs> all right, so rather than go out there and continue chipping, we're gonna go out and harvest the last of our squash. Um, our squash patch is pretty much done. So we're gonna get all of the cushions that are out there, get them put in a safe place and whatever else is out there. I saw there's a bunch of spaghetti squash that need to be picked. So, we're gonna go out and play in the garden. Your chariot awaits, my lady. You get to ride on the wood chips. Okay, you have to sit down. Since we're hauling some squash, might as well just leave the wood chips in there. That way they're not getting all bruised up. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab loppers. That would yeah, probably help. Ah, Cindy, we meet again. Get it? Cindy Loppers. Look who it is! It's Cindy! I literally just made that joke. Because <laughs> <Yes. laughs> we're made for each other. That was legitimately not scripted or anything. No. That was hilarious. <laughs> All right, load up. Was that fun? I heard you giggling all the way. <laughs> all right. We got watermelon everywhere. We got spaghetti squash. spaghetti squash everywhere. We got some Cherokee tans that are ready. Oh yeah, cool. Let's just pick everything that's ripe and ready. Yeah, this squash, squash patch, mm. it's done. It is, uh, except for the Cherokee tans. Cherokey They're still tans, going. Those will go until they freeze to death unless something messes with them. Right. Let's get a picking. Okay. I love that you have to use loppers <laughs> to get oh, that squash out. The stems are huge. Oh my goodness. That's not even a big one. No, that's not. That's little. That's, that's a good but size one. That's as one, big but... as your head. I know. That's huge. Toss that to mom. Toss it to mom. Tossing. Okay, thanks. I knew I saw another one over there. Ooh. Hot potato. Wanna catch? Do it. <laughs> ah, you missed. <laughs> or did you throw wrong? Come on, catch. Now Ready throw it at mom. Good catch. Hey, we actually grew some honest to goodness spaghetti squash. Oh, Dad, are you gonna throw the watermelons? Oh, See if Mom can catch those. Ready to catch the heaviest basketball <laughs> ever? Oh, that's a lot heavier than it looks. <laughs> well, you gotta throw it at me, dude. It's a left hand throw. Oh, well, that was pretty good. It's kind of dangerous with the big old stem. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get stabbed. <sighs> We're gonna have to break the shell to get it out. Yeah, I think that one's okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Cool. Uh, but you want to hold one? Yeah. That's a good one. Uh -huh. Buggies. Buggies, yeah. That's a lot of good stuff. Right? Those are pretty thin. 
done it. Ah, oh, it's God. eaten. Yuck. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, yuck. It has wine in it. It smells like wine. Like, it straight up smells like water. It smells good. Don't you. Oh, I'm not going to drink it, but it like it doesn't smell repulsive. Got it! Okay, Scotch Patch, thank you for your services. Yeah, thank you. So it's not a hay ride. Is this a chip ride or a melon ride? Right now it's a melon ride. Watch <laughs> ride. Watch ride. <laughs> okay, so actually I think we're going to abandon these watermelons, like we're gonna pick them, we're gonna see what's in here, and then I'm gonna mow. Okay. Because this is ridiculous. It is kind of ridiculous. We're gonna lose our tomatoes to the weeds and the melons. This one's split. Oh, did it? Uh, yep. Yeah, I was afraid we were gonna lose some out here. There you go. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. Are you gonna mow? Do you want me to? Yes. I can mow. Do it fast. There's no tomatoes worth saving, so. Watermelon? Uh, yeah, watermelon. Yeah. I was looking at tomatoes. <laughs> you are. Okay, well then I will mow it all. Okay. Let's see, here's one. That might be worth saving for the chickens. Yeah, that's not gonna be right Everything now. else is so tiny. Yeah. The grass got too tall and it's out competing the watermelon. That's okay. We got quite a haul. We did get quite a haul. That looks so much better. That looks way better. So we learned a valuable lesson. We like growing watermelon with weed fabric. With weed fabric. <laughs> yes, very much so. We've grown watermelon in the beds before, but every year we've had that problem yep. is we can't find the watermelons. And then once we have our first frost, most of the watermelons turn to mush. Because we can't see them. Because we can't see them. But yep. then the grass starts dying and we can find them and get them. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Yeah. This year we've eaten we've eaten so much watermelon, we're just about sick of it. Yeah. Which, that's kind of cool. I like that. So we every year we learn something new about how we like to grow stuff. This year, we really like having the tomatoes up on yes, a trellis like this. Yes, we really do. And we really like growing watermelon with weed fabric. Yes. All right, with that done, we got a lot of work to do out here in the garden. Me too. Like, prepare for fall and prepare for fall. Bed. Like there's a whole bunch of harvesting that has to be done as well as, I mean, there's still summer maintenance like this. Yes. Mowing and stuff like that. Right. Like, and if, like tomatoes are still going. And you know, we're still, tomatoes are falling down. Yeah. We'll fix them tomorrow. Yeah. So, all right. I think that's going to do it for us for today. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.